The recent investment of a million pound in Bay 4 has been to upgrade the whole environment of this area. Fundamentally we've installed two new 50 ton cranes, we've installed some 10 ton semi-goliath cranes and we've also looked at the dynamics of how work flows through the bay. We've looked at actually how we organise ourselves on the shop floor in Bay 4. So we've actually tried to get a lot of the cable management and the gas and everything out of the floor and actually into the air and put them up onto booms so we can sort of work in sort of zonal areas. This investment, what it does with increasing our single lift capacity within the bay, it opens up more projects, it reduces our costs on site because we can send bigger parts um, and it opens up projects that probably would have been precluded from in the past because we couldn't actually handle them. Those projects are now well within the scope of Severfield. The two cranes that were in there were only 40 ton cranes, so we were limited on what we could lift, but we've got now there two 50 ton cranes, so we haven't found a project that yet that exceeds 100 ton lifts. So the lifting capacity and the capability in there is, is key, but Bay 4 is like the final piece of the jigsaw because it brings together what we've invested in with the T&I machine, what we've invested in with the blasting machine, the work and, and investment that we've made around the factory. We can see the market at the moment, some real good opportunities coming through. This high speed two is obviously going to kick off shortly. Uh, we can see investment coming through with Highways England's projects. Uh, Network Rail have got CP6 framework that's now starting to kick off. So what we really wanted to do was just sort of modernise it completely and make it more fit for purpose and ready for hopefully all these projects that are going to come through.